down immediately. A clip has just resurfaced in which The View host, Whoopi Goldberg claimed that she was more qualified to be president than Donald Trump is. In her ego-driven dribble, Goldberg boasted to her sheeple audience that she is better informed and thus, better equipped to be POTUS. Right-wing news reported that Whoopi made the ridiculous comment back in December on her ABC talk show The View. The actress went so far as to claim that people are begging her to run for president, a claim that we find ludicrous and unsubstantiated. Here's the difference, Whoopi said of her and Trump. When I speak, at least you know that I've actually looked stuff up, so people think that I might be more aware. People know that I've had a wide variety of lives, so they think I might know some stuff. But when you have someone who doesn't seem to do the homework, who doesn't seem to have any idea how things actually run, when you bring up Hillary, I can only think to myself she may not have been the best candidate for people, but I know she knew what she was doing, she added. Twitter users were not amused by Whoopi's self-gloating rhetoric and immediately took to Twitter to let her know how ignorant and irrelevant she is, share this story if you do agree Whoopi is a delusional, narcissistic. Barbara Streisand Calls Trump the Fake President Hollywood liberal Barbara Streisand pinned an oped for the Huffington Post on Friday in which she ranted against President Donald Trump, calling him an angry, hollow, vindictive man. Breitbart reported that Streisand wrote an article titled The Fake President in which she said that there's an narcissistic fraud in the White House. Over the next 1,000 words, the Academy Award winner questions Trump's mental stability his willingness to criticize what he calls the very fake news media, and his ability to be U.S. president. The large ego of a small man drives the vindictiveness of his policies, Streisand wrote, later adding, this is the Trump presidency. He will not grow in the office. He watches cable TV and then tweets in a rage, the singer stated. He lacks the temperament to fulfill his role. For all his ranting about fake news and fake media. The truth is, he is the fake president. A vocal Hillary Clinton supporter, Streisand promised to leave the country if Trump won the election. Like her fellow Hollywood liberals, however, Streisand has not put her money where her mouth is and has remained in the U.S. Her latest attempt to minimize Trump has backfired, as Twitter users were quick to call Streisand on her hypocrisy. Share this story if you think Barbara Streisand is an irrelevant Melania Trump sits next to Putin at G20 summit. Watch what happens next. Melania Trump found herself seated next to Russian President Vladimir Putin at the G20 banquet on Friday night. Melania appeared quite at ease even while seated next to Putin who has been portrayed as a rather intimidating figure. However, Melania is linguistically the most gifted first lady the U.S. have had as she fluently speaks five languages including German and was able to communicate with Putin with ease. Daily Mail reported that as someone who grew up in Slovenia when it was part of Yugoslavia, Melania knows many languages, including German, which the Russian president also speaks. Melania and Putin were seen chatting happily, making it clear that they had become good friends already. This dinner was taking place after German Chancellor Angela Merkel treated her G20 guests to Ludwig van Beethoven's Ninth Symphony hoping to spread her vision with a hymn to humanity, peace and international understanding. Share this story if you agree First Lady Melania Trump is a wonderful representative of the U.S. Trump just made America great again in a huge ways, Obama would never have done this. The mainstream media is trying to make it look like President Donald Trump has been an epic failure of a president. However, a new report has confirmed that Trump is actually putting Barack Obama to shame by following through with his campaign promise to bring jobs back to the U.S. Breitbart reported that a new report from the Bureau of Labor Statistics shows that more than 222,000 jobs were added to the U.S. Labor Department in June. This came as a major surprise as Wall Street economists had only predicted that 175,000 jobs would be added. Though the unemployment rate rose slightly, from 4.3% to 4.4%, this was actually a good thing because it showed that more Americans were re-entering the labor market. In addition, 
the average hourly wage rose by 2.5 percent. Average hours worked also grew in June, as did the average work week for all employees on private non-farm payrolls, which rose by 0.1 hour to 34.5 hours. This comes after it was reported that Trump has already met with 50 percent more world leaders than Obama had at the same point in his presidency. By July 6, 2009, Obama had met with only 20 world leaders, not including international summits or the United Nations and other institutions. In contrast, Trump has already met with 38 leaders through June 6, 2017, not including summits, the UN, or the Palestinian Authority. Share this story if you think Trump is a better president than Obama. Michelle Obama challenged Melania Trump. Got a bad response. Barack and Michelle Obama have gone completely silent on their Twitter and Facebook accounts in regards to our nation's Independence Day, a day that Americans celebrate with pride and patriotism. The Obamas dismiss the July 4th holiday without a mention of it on their social media platforms. However, President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump celebrated the occasion with members of the military and their families. The Daily Caller reported that Melania emerged from the White House on Tuesday to host a picnic for members of the military and their families. Dot at POTUS and I were honored to host members of military and families for a picnic at the At White House this evening. Hash Happy Independence Day, Melania tweeted Tuesday night. Thank you to the at U.S. Navy Country Current and at U.S. Army Downrange Bands for performing at tonight's picnic to honor the military. Hash happy 4th. We're so glad that we finally have a first lady who is so elegant, poised, beautiful, and thoughtful. Michelle never would have made her Independence Day about military veterans, but Melania did just that. Share this story if you agree Melania Trump is a wonderful first lady. woman busted for welfare fraud. You'll be livid when you see who her husband is. Even though the left or the press will rarely admit it, welfare programs are rife with fraud. Not only are many welfare programs bloated and burdensome on the taxpayer, many people take advantage of these programs that are meant to give a temporary hand up to those in need. Research even shows that welfare doesn't succeed in its stated goal, which is to reduce poverty. In fact, it may only make people more comfortable with remaining in poverty. A recent story out of Arlington, Virginia highlights how shocking some examples of welfare fraud can be. A woman was caught receiving welfare benefits, while her husband was making over $1 million annually as a high-powered attorney. From NBC, an Arlington woman was arrested this week and charged with four counts of welfare fraud for collecting over $100,000 in benefits all while her husband was a high-earning attorney in D.C., police say. Police say a six-month investigation into Helen Agbaparuanwu, 41, found that the mother of four had collected benefits like food stamps and Medicaid assistance for the past six years. While Helen was collecting benefits, her husband, Fidelis Agbaparuanwu, was earning $1.5 million per year as a lawyer, according to court documents obtained by News 4. Her husband wasn't formally charged, but there's evidence he was in on the fraud. Fidel's LinkedIn page claims he works for the DC firm of Meyer Brown, but today the firm said he no longer works there. Court officials believe Fidel's, a Nigerian immigrant, has fled the country and is somewhere in Africa. Not only did the woman not qualify for the benefits, but the value of the benefits she was receiving was only a small fraction of the salary her husband was making. Receiving the benefits probably didn't do much to improve the standard of the couple's living. The bizarre story highlights what has become a growing problem. Once welfare programs are in place, they can rarely be downsized. And as welfare programs increase, hard-working taxpayers get forced subsidizing the lives of people who don't need help.